Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, for taking time to watch this video. Um, this is in continuation with the work that I have been doing related to influencer marketing with webinars. And uh, we have discussed uh, how to design uh, webinars, um, how to design your influencer marketing campaigns, how to promote them. Uh, but one of the most important factor is uh, one of the most important factors is the inside sales reach out. How can you use uh, one to one conversation from now on, right? So until this point, you might have used a one to many conversations. Your marketing would have reached out with email campaigns, ads, press releases, blogs. Uh, social media tweets and those are all good stuff there's no doubt about that but you can add inside sales component to your uh, webinar conversion strategy and that's a very powerful um, conversion strategy the simple reason is like I mentioned before that you will be moving on from or you will be adding one-to-one -one conversation along with one-to-many conversation and that allows um, you to engage with your prospects that allows you to collaborate with your prospects build on the goodwill that uh, your webinar has created build on the momentum uh, build on the resources that you have been able to put together to promote uh, your webinar and um, you know so inside sales can be an important component to your conversion strategy we have heard a lot of times when um, you have got 300 webinar registrants or you have got 50 webinar registrants but you're not able to convert uh, that will change if you assign your uh, leads if you prioritize your leads and assign these leads uh, to your inside sales um, so uh, what should inside sales do once they get uh, these uh, webinar leads there are two ways to go about it right the first one is uh, to lead with a result from the same industry so if you can reach out to the decision makers and demonstrate how you have been able to solve a problem or how you have been able to uh, make a difference uh, to your prospects and to your uh, customers lives then it has a very important uh, it can play a very important role right and nothing is more um, valuable than a demonstrable evidence so make sure that you are able to create uh, demonstrable evidence and lead with results okay uh, if you don't have results, then anyway, entire your campaign was wrong because then how did you select the webinar topic? How did you select your um, target market? How did you select your customer persona? So uh, then everything breaks. So make sure that you are selecting uh, a topic where you have demonstrable evidence and you are able to lead with results. <clears throat> the second one is... Uh, on a, on a different philosophy altogether and uh, that philosophy is more based on uh, people like to buy but they don't like to be sold uh, right so all of us like to buy um, you know we we browse we look at ideas we discover strategies and we like to implement we like to make changes we, we don't like to be sold right so this um, you have to build on this so your inside sales should reach out with an intent not to sell but with an intent to gather feedback right so um, and how do you do that how do you gather feedback right so you, some of the questions that you can ask when you reach out to a prospect is what did you like from the webinar right and, um, what did you learn uh, you know uh, practical tips right what practical tips did you learn that you can implement at your workplace tomorrow and um, you know the th another question could be like did you receive uh, what we promised in the webinar registration page or on the uh, webinar promotion pages and all that um, once you are able to get a hang of 
uh, what the prospect or the customer feels about your webinar and how it was uh, useful in his life then you can go on to the next stage where you try to ask him what are the other topics that are relevant for him and what are the top three challenges that he is trying to address this quarter that would tell you a lot about his initiatives his plans for the future and uh, some visibility uh, in terms of how you can collaborate with him right so um, this is how you should go about uh, converting uh, webinar leads through inside sales i hope that you found this very helpful and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you